Well, we survived the wedding. Tasha didn't make it to the wedding because she got really sick with COVID. Yeah, what and a freaking bummer and the horrible timing. We cried separately. Yeah. Tasha was alone um, at the urgent care and I had to go do wedding duties as a uh, groomsman. And that's when we found out that she was positive for COVID the morning of the wedding. Um, I cried because I was sad for two reasons. One, because you were gonna miss a really great family moment. And two, because of fear that that COVID could lead to big complications in an early pregnancy. Yeah. But your fever went down. Yes. What was the max fever you saw? 101.4, officially. Yeah. I'm not sure how high my fever got before we realized I had a fever. And before I started taking Tylenol, hopefully not too high. But you kept it around 99 plus. 99.7 was like your standard. Basically, yeah, it was ranging from like 99 and a half to like 101, kind of all day and all night. And, none, and I kept it low with Tylenol every four hours. You couldn't tell the family. I, I couldn't say anything. Jameson, my brother, caught me crying alone. You know, not, not like, ah, but you know, I was definitely choked up. And he's, you know, I had to reveal to him that it was because we're pregnant and it was his wedding day. And you he's- you, you have to make it about you, huh? He's the only one that knows in our family. I think we told a CVS pharmacist. <laughs> I think we told a barista. <laughs> it's nice to tell strangers, but um, he's the only one in the family that knows and he's gonna keep his mouth shut or else. And, um, Did he make promise? Does he promise oh yeah, he promised. He knows. He's been there, and he can keep a secret if anyone can. In my family, don't tell Chase, my sister. Uh, but either way, we survived it, and we're gonna go to the gynecologist I think next week, right? Not this week. Yeah, next week. And um, we fly back to Los Angeles tomorrow. So luckily, your fever's down, and um, on to the next battle. Anything else? That's your update. Or were you happy you missed the wedding? Happy? No. You missed so many, she missed so much dramatic. You know, any, any wedding with my family, there's always going to be drama. You were able to escape it. But she heard the morning after stories. So you're in the family. You're locked in now with the baby. You can't run. You're here for life now. Uh, September 19th, 2023. All right, we're heading to the obstetrician. Yes. Which uh, OB for short, as we've learned. Also a gynecologist in OBGYN. We're just going for the OB. Yeah, you know me. So, Tasha Marie, how you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. Been a little uh, backed up. Oh my gosh, yeah. Actually, that's not feeling good at all. I've never been so gassy and constipated in my life. Is gassy and constipation a first trimester thing? Yeah, I actually looked it up last night, and apparently because your like progesterone is increasing like it um is it called progesterone progesterone so i think it's a hormone right for progest progesterone I, I don't know i'm spacing out but estrogen progesterone are like your two main female hormones and something about when you're pregnant your progesterone is like going way up and um i think somehow that's associated with constipation also like the iron in your prenatal vitamins it's like something with the bacteria in your gut so the bacteria aren't like eating your food as efficiently so you need to and poop i really need to poop good enough too much information no you asked I, no no i i, I did <laughs> because i'm well aware of your schedule um so we are going to the doctor be there in three minutes our biggest concern i think it's i think it's fair to say is 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 this baby is our baby alive yeah like we just don't know its health we he uh, said so our six week appointment was before we were traveling two weeks ago and he said we would know more at the eight week appointment if it's like developing properly and then he said at the 10 week appointment is when they do a lot of the testing and you know it's first trimester you're not supposed to tell anyone because it's a very high risk time and high risk for a miscarriage yeah i think i just think it's important and not 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 to you, you agree or disagree i just think it's important to say these words because it's like 
no one's saying these words, and I think that's what makes it well, so much more tragic. Well, we're also going through it right now, so I no, kind I, of just want, like, my in my bubble, I want it to be a very safe and healthy space, and I only want to think of a safe and healthy thought. Of course. Because it's, like, really distressing to think otherwise. And obviously, you know, I got COVID when we were traveling. It well, was they, horrible. I don't know if they know that. I got COVID when we went home for Dave's brother's wedding. It was... A, terrible timing to we miss the wedding. thought it was the flu. You thought it might have been strep. strep. Um, and then, but and then turns out it was COVID. Super COVID. And I had um, a relatively high fever. I think it was pretty much ranging between like 99 and a half and 101 and a half as far as we know. Like the whole two days I had a fever. Um, and, you know, fever, a high fever, I think typically over 102. They consider that very concerning for like a first trimester pregnancy. Um, but, you know, we did our best to manage the fever with Tylenol. And then, yeah, since um, we've been back, I also had a little bit of spotting, uh, which- A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Like not like a not like an obvious ah, like but a, enough but it to, was it was still startling to find out the day before we're going to the doctor is a little nice to know we're not like traveling you know like we're gonna be traveling next week for to to, to know that we're going to the doctor right now and we're gonna be able to talk to a professional I think has been very helpful yeah. right yeah because when when um you know we actually talked to a doctor. Uh, while we were in Rhode Island and, and just said, hey, we're pregnant, it's new, uh, she's got COVID, like what the hell? And you know, there are, there's always gonna be hurdles. There's gonna, be, there's gonna be people that get the common cold, your immune system's gonna be weak. There's gonna be all these hurdles that come and yet humanity survives. So, you know, we, all we can do is just know that you're trying your best to stay healthy and eat healthy and all of that. I mean, we thought maybe you had food poisoning, which turned out to be probably not. Yeah, it that would have was been, the COVID. It would have been very rare if that was food poisoning turned COVID, but that was when you had diarrhea. So from diarrhea to constipation, <laughs> you get to hear all about it here, folks. Um, the poop episode. I mean, I don't know. I think these are, I think people can relate because so many different things happen during a pregnancy. It's a unique experience that even people that have a lot of kids, it's still only like, you know, it's, it's just such a short amount of your lifetime will be spent in these stages. And- But you know, actually, like I was thinking about like kind of mentally preparing for this appointment and like probably all the things he, he's gonna ask me about. Like, I'm sure he's gonna ask me about the COVID, but honestly that feels so long ago. And it was literally just like a week and a half ago, if even, and like, it just, yeah, I don't know. It's weird. And like next week a lot is happening and it makes every day feel like a week. Yeah, and next week we go to the Middle East, literally to the Maldives, south of India, and long flight. I mean, you know, we're gonna be as healthy as possible, but like you can't pause your life, you know? And um, anyway, we'll have our update. Anything else? What do you wanna ask him? I mean, he's obviously just gonna do the ultrasound and, and see your progress and everything. So, we'll be back for that. You okay? Yeah. How am I doing? More importantly, how am I doing? <laughs> am I doing okay? Oh man. The, the doctor said if that I should- If you were dealing with the amount of just, honestly, my stomach has not felt right- I gotta deal with you. Since before we knew we were pregnant. So we're talking about like how many weeks? Four weeks? I got a great photo I of you from the beach. Uh, when we were in Malibu when you were pregnant but didn't know it. So You got a good photo of me? Yeah. Laying out in your eeny, eeny weeny tiny bikini with a little baby bean in there. Um, all right. Well, I feel bad for you and I'm trying to be helpful. Uh, I'm just saying, I don't know if he would cope as well as I've been coping. Let's for, let blanket statement say no. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to give birth. You, you saw how I acted when I got a bee sting. I got a bee sting. I was trying to amputate my leg above the knee. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, let's go talk to the doctor. We'll be back. All right. Seven weeks, six days. What's the update? We have a peanut. 
Yay! <laughs> uh, we heard the heartbeat the today. Obs- it was a fast heartbeat. I, I still don't believe. Is it a heartbeat or well, is it? Well, it's technically an electrical signal. It's an electrical signal cells, between suppose. cells. It's a. It's the size of a raspberry. Yeah. Um, I only say that because it's like, what are we even doing? Like, I'm trying to educate myself. They don't teach you this in Rhode Island public school. Show us the photo. I took oh, a video. I, I took I, a video I, of it. I'll, I'll overlay it right here, but. Um, this guy, this OB is good. He's very theatrical. He's like, Tasha, you're having a baby. <laughs> like, we we're like, well, we thought so, but <laughs> you know, maybe. Look at our peanut. There it is. So the top half is the head. Yeah. And then the bottom is the You know what it looks like? Is, what are those? Um, Remember those worms? Glow worms? Remember glow worms? Yeah. They were just like it a, does it was like a like head a with like a. A plush body. Yeah. Um, the doctor said that the COVID did not affect the baby. I don't know how it snows that, but I guess what it thinks is the baby's healthy from, you know, all he can see. And he, he did say you're not drinking enough water. And I said, doc, I'm listen. I'm really trying. He was like, does she kiss you at night? I was like, well, which is not being grumpy. Sure, <laughs> but, um, we're going to go to the supercharger, gas this up. Tasha's got to go to the dentist. And um, yeah, what do they measure your weight at? Just for the record, one thirty-one. So three pounds of poop. <laughs> so, cause why? That's where you were last time. Was one twenty-eight. Last time I was one twenty-eight. Well, and you're also craving Arby's, so <laughs> we'll have to see. Although the doctor, he did say eat healthy. No, I don't know he if Arby's just said counts. he just said don't eat risky things. Oh, an Arby's, a, ro- a fast food roast beef place is not considered risky? No, and you know why? Because I believe that that meat is like dehydrated. Like it's somehow, tr- it's like two processes of cooking. It's like dehydrated and then it's heated. So it's like that's true. All right, so here's the schedule. In three weeks, well, no, let's go over this. The, the lady said the due date is May 1st. Yeah. My birthday. Yeah. My 39th birthday. Uh, which makes you feel really old. Would you be excited to have a baby with your same birthday? I or would, would you feel sad that you don't have your own Oh, no, I would not feel sad at all. I would for sure get more attention because I'd be like, let's plan a big birthday for the baby. And then I would hijack it. <laughs> but um, any any day, any day is fine. But if you can hold off, I think between our birthdays would be really cool. Like May we did fifth, not my plan this. My birthday would be really good. Cinco de Mayo would be great. Any, any, anything's fine, but it's going to fall in the general, unless there's some wild scenario, it's going to fall in the general vicinity of our birthdays, which is really crazy (laughs) when you think that we weren't trying to have a kid and out of 365 days we're, I mean, if this was mini golf, this is a, we're putting a hole in one right now. Um, all right. So in three, in two weeks, after we go to the Maldives and have all that much fun, we will be doing a, another visit. And then what will it be? Every two weeks after that? I don't know. And this is the healthcare system we live in. You paid cash? I paid with my credit card. So what is that, 2 280 a visit? 250. 250. What was it last time? It wasn't 250 last time, it was like two something. This. 245 seven week old embryo i'm spending more on his headshots than mine 250 (laughs) bucks a photo uh don't let us down hope you're cool (laughs) hope you're not an asshole we're not Um, gonna have an asshole baby all right well very polite well-mannered so how are you feeling excited is it weird that we haven't had like a Big cry or something over this. Are you, well, I've had a, plenty. I don't know what you. What do you mean you've had plenty? You haven't been crying. I I have I cry every three days. I don't think I'm past the shock stage, and I think it's my body just being in like, let's get our taxes done and buy a house stage. So for those listening, that is the plan: is to try if we are going to buy a home, try to get the home in a time where you're still able to, you know, like five, six months pregnancy, way better than if you're eight months pregnant. Yeah. So I'd hate for us to miss that window and then, that, you know,
you know, have to do something else. And it would be a lot easier to just find a home, buy it. And historically, it's not a bad time. It's, it's the worst time to buy a home, but at least we can buy, maybe that'll get us the foot in the door. I'm looking for these chargers. I don't know where they are. Oh, there they are. All right, we're going to, this is how it works when you have a Tesla, they just send you the random chargers. These ones were cheaper than the other ones, which is probably why there's nothing nearby. Oh, oh, this is nice. They're the pull-in ones. So check this out. What's that? Is that a grocery store or something? So when you're charging, I think there's, yeah, it's a, I think there's a Sprouts here. So look at that. Oh, a Hobby Lobby. Let's go in Hobby Lobby. All right, there it is, Hobby Lobby, folks. Well, there's your update. So all's good. We're just, uh, we're keeping the faith. I wasn't nervous because I was just like, I don't know, you know, like I trust this guy a lot. He knows what he's doing and we'll have more updates. Now it's just trying to decide on Dave Jr. or <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it was one of my birthday. Dave Jr. would make sense. Babe, no. You don't like my name? I, honey, I love your name, but ha give our kid a little individuality. Nobody wants to be a junior. <laughs> All right. Tasha, well, you don't want a Tasha? No, Tasha. I want our kids to have their own identity. All right, their own identity, Davey. <laughs>